Hey guys, it's Wayne here from Deep Low Ideas. Going to give you a quick overview of our new tool, the Project Optimizer. Okay, I'll just launch it here. It's a utility tool to help analyze and review the um, information contained within your game selling project and um, hopefully help you to identify any problems you may have. Um, along the way, you can also optimize and compress the PNG files. Um, but um, I'll just take you through a whole demo because there is a lot more to this application than some of the other programs we've done. Uh, there's a lot more going on, it's a lot more intense, um, but um, there's a lot of information it can give you back to help improve your files. So, okay, first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to run a file through it. I'm going to get it out analyzing. So, here's a demo file, just drag it, drop it on the interface. It'll come up and tell you you can start the analysis. Yeah, let's do that. So, it's going to go through and extract as much information as it can find. Okay, we'll let that go. Here we go. Right. Okay, so it's gone through and it's, it's done its analysis for us. Alrighty, so the first tab, what we see is the um, actor rules here. And it's telling us it was checking for any corrupt calculation. It found three errors in this calculation um, on in actor stick three. Um, and it's telling me, really, I've got to fix these. Um, they are critical. Again, these warning errors I put up here are based on my own experiences and Darren's combined. Um, you know, you, you can ignore our, our advice. You know, it's good to go through and actually fix them, try and get nice all green ticks down here. Then you know you've got a pretty efficient file. Um, so yeah, the first option here is telling us it inspected the actor's rules and it found three errors um, in the file. So, okay, it had a look through for any actors in the game not being used. And this one's got quite a few not being used. Um, so I don't go through and delete them. I just advise you on um, the actors I believe or the application believes are not being used. Um, it has done quite a deep analysis to find this information out. Okay. Next up, we've got the actors details. So this will actually go through all the actors in the in the project and show you all the sizes and positions of them if the, if the data has been set up. So this is more of an information to provide to show you the sizes of your actors, so you can say, yep, yeah, they're all the right size, that's what I'm expecting to see. Next up is the instant rules. Now these are actors that you've put on the stage and you've unlocked and you've changed the rules internally. So again, it's found four calculation errors in an instant called move me around on layer game over on scene level one. So it's easy to find the actors you've got to fix and go in and find them. Uh, uh, we're gonna have a look at the instance details. So the instant details are all the actors and everything that's been put on the scene. Um, so it's going to show us which layer, and which actor is on which layer, and the size and positions if they were changed from, from the original actor. So a lot of information um, going on, but what you can see for each of your scenes, if you're trying to position things up neatly, is that the positions are not um, in different, different coordinates. So you could go through and change the coordinates in your game salad project. Um, so yeah, a lot of information. Going to go through spawning in inspector. So what this does, this actually goes through every single actor um, in your game solid project and analyzes how many spawns each actor does. Um, again, this is based on my own experience and Dan's experience. Um, so we've set on different levels of bad in our opinion. So this particular actor here, move me around, spawns three times. Um, which is excessive to be honest with you, will, you will slow down your game seller project. Um, and you'll even find if there's an instance that does spawning as well, so here's an, an instance um, that's doing extra spawning as well. And how many overall spawns you have in your, in your project. Um, and obviously Darren's been working on a lot of projects just of late where there's no spawning. We ran it through the application and sure enough, no spawns, it was all good. Um, so yeah, um, a good report to help find if there's anything being spawned. Okay, images in your project. Okay, so this interface here will actually show you um, all the images you have in your in your project. It will show you the size, and it will show you the um, size of each of the images and their resolution as well. Um, along the way, we actually analyze each of the files. So this one here, B zero, it's telling me the res is too high, and sure enough, it's 150. So while it's not a big problem, it does need fixing, especially if I want to improve or optimize this particular file. I get a whole overall report telling me, you know what, there was 28 identified or serious errors to be resolved. So if we go and have a look through the rest of these, yep, sure enough, there's lots of others 
that we've put a red pling next to and basically this is good because they've got odd sizing numbers which can lead to blurry images uh, how the images get placed on the stage so your advice would be to go back and change this to either 168 138 or even better put them to the power of 2 so 32 64 128 etc um, in a future application we will change those sizes for you but uh, as of right now we'll just give you a full report what is going on with your images there's a little preview window here so you can actually see um, your images as well that are in your file so okay next up is what images are not being used so this is, these are basically wasted RAM um, and your project size is just unnecessarily big so you should be able to go through and delete these um, note however though if you have got an actor or an image being linked to a font um, rule then do be careful um, because we do find it quite hard to find some of the images where you've created the name as text um, but as an overall visual guide this should get you somewhere close to as to what images you can delete okay so again lots of information um, to digest sounds in the project a list of all the sounds and the sizes of them uh, we are working on an encoder to actually help um, compress the sound files further and um, that will be available in a future future release uh, as an update so um, so yeah and any new sounds as well again taking up unnecessary memory so advice would be to go through find these and delete them out of your game seller project um, obviously make it a bit smaller make it run a bit quicker um, and obviously make the deployment size a bit smaller as well um, now then the only optimize options here is what we actually do uh, we go through and have a look at all the names in your in your file, so your sounds and your images. And if you've got any illegal file names, um, the application will try and fix them for you and make them correct. I do see a lot of projects over the um, over the years where people have used um, what I consider or what is considered um, bad naming convention, and the software will go through and fix them. Um, so if you um, enable these options here, and then next up here is the compression. Um, so basically we use an algorithm um, to go through and recompress your PNG files. If they're already heavily compressed, the software won't do anything to them. Um, if there's nothing, nothing we can take out, then it won't do it. Um, the minimum is zero, no compression. The maximum is seven, lots of compression, um, but it takes a long time. It's very slow, so you want to watch that. Okay, the, the default is two, um, so I'll, I'll leave it on two for this example here. Okay then, so if we want to, um, we can actually go through and process this. Um, so and I'll get this process in so while we're talking. Okay, here we go. So it's going to go through and it's going to look at every single image, every asset, every file, every single XML file. It's going to relink all the image information inside. Um, it's going through now and it's actually compressing these files here. Um, so if this isn't too bad, this is quite quick on a compression ratio too. Uh, but again, if you've got a big project, this may take some time, so we do ask that you just sit back and wait. They could get some good results from it. Okay. Here we go. Okay, so my original project was 5.5 meg. After compression, using my algorithm, 4.75. Um, so again, we get a new game solid project. Here's our new, new game solid project here. I'll get rid of the old one. Okay. So all the images now would have been renamed, all the audio would have been renamed, all relinked back up, so there's nothing missing. Um, and again, all the images would have been nicely compressed. And um, we do ask that you obviously check. Um, some of the, sometimes when you do the compression, you can get artifacts. That's a natural side effect of any compression algorithm. Uh, it should be fairly lossless, but do have a good check. Myself and Darren have done a lot of testing on that. It did run the running wild graphics through it, and they all appear to be okay. Um, so yeah, a tool for analysing your game solid projects and for extracting information and giving you a full report and of any errors we can find. Now we will be updating this in the future with future releases um, as we are able to work out more extraction information. Um, for example, only the other day we discovered a bug with the animations placed within game solid. Um, that's come about in the new game solid 0.91. Um, but the application does handle that particular bug. Um, so, like I say, we're always working on these tools, constantly updating them. So, so yeah, um, lots of information, lots of anal analysis for you to help you improve the efficiency of your files.